So today we're going to go, we're going to be following what we talked about last week. We touched base on some of the issues we've been dealing with as it relates to understanding whether it's health and wellness. I did receive some emails from different individuals, Richard and others. We'll be addressing some of those issues. So the second half of this workshop, I will be going directly into the tablet and get you guys to see how to engage the tablet and be able to use the tablet effectively with the frequencies. So I wanted to make sure that we started on the, we start on the right foot always. And I always want to start by saying, again, as I said last week, there are only two types of truth. Okay, you can hear me okay. There's the truth and there's a truth. I'm here to present a truth. And if anyone out there telling you they have the truth, walk the other way because they only have their version of the truth. Right? And understanding that, that gives you power. Right? That gives you access to you more than reflecting what is outside of you. So today we're going to be breaking down some of those barriers that, that restricts us or prevents us from being able to manifest the things that we desire. Because I've had an opportunity to really study how creation works. And you know, um, from a spiritual perspective, having gone through several different uh, what we call supernatural experiences, I've got perspective. And those perspectives sometimes can be difficult when you internalize in your reality versus externalizing your reality. There are people out there that externalize their reality, and that's how they exist. Everything is a reflection. Right? When we talk about science versus spirituality or science versus religion, that's one of the conflict that's happening, the contradictions. One is externalizing understanding of what is out there, while we as individuals who perceive as been awakened understand that reality exists and begins and ends from within us. So understanding those dynamics is important. And so today we'll begin to unravel some of the distortions that keeps us from actually having the type of life we want and being able to experience the health, experience the type of abundance we want, not the distorted aspect of abundance. Right? And then how to leverage this amazing technology in supporting that endeavor, right? So we're gonna be focusing more on us again today, as always, us, 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 make it about you. And that's what we're gonna be looking at today, okay? So let's start by looking at how reality creates um, potential for you. In, in fact, everything is going to go back to this technology, but this will begin to give you understanding of where you are and how you're going to transform the reality, whether you're working with patients, whether you're working with yourself, it does not matter. This is the law of creation I've come to understand. And this is why sometimes we get excited and we go to these motivational, informational, and we get excited when we leave, we realize that especially 98% of us, it doesn't work for us at all, right? Is because, again, we have lost connections to the truth of that aspect, right? So I'm going to make it simple. This this class or this cor these courses are simple, a workshop to understand things. I'm, I don't believe in complexity. I don't believe in confusing you in order to establish value for myself over you. I think at the end of the day, my job is to inspire and empower you towards greatness. And so, therefore, I must present the tools in a way that gives you full understanding. So... In the realm of mathematics, we have something we call a number line. And this was difficult for me because for a long time, I, be I believe that I was creating my reality. So, well, if I'm, everybody's telling me I can create my reality, why am I not creating the type of reality that I want? Because I was losing critical aspect of the, the now, the moment. So this is a typical number line we learn in elementary school. At the primary level, we learned that zero is here. And then we have negative on the left side, and then we have positive on the right side. So we have positive, infinite, negative, infinite. So think of the line as love, okay? The line represents love. That is the eternal love, all things. Love travels without definition, just a line that, that goes through uh, the positive and the negative. And then think of the positive and negative as duality, contrast to our reality. There must exist duality in order for existence to manifest. So the, the challenge was for me, understanding until I began to receive the necessary wisdom and downloads. And I began to look at physics and other, uh, other areas of studies. And I began to see there was a synchronistic component to this, right? You exist in this bubble. This is your reality. That's your reality, right? And that is your reality of now. This is important to everybody. In this moment, how reality works is if you are negative about 
who you are as a person, place, or thing, whatever, as it relates to person, place, or thing. You get to cancel one of these, right? You get to cancel this. And this draws you to it. And this becomes the new reality in that moment. Okay? This is why we find ourselves being stuck. Doesn't matter, you know, who you think you are. You find yourself perpetuating the same thing. And then again, it starts over. You now have to make a decision once you understand the rules of what I need to be. Because if I remain negative, I will continue to cancel out the positive. So change must begin now, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, but right now. Now is where you empower yourself to transform. So how do we transform when we feel negative? Well, everything around us is negative. We have to find a way to resonate. Right? change our resonance from negative coming back to us and we feed in negative, you know, because once it starts to reflect, we begin to engage the negativity, that negative aspect of our reality. We have to find a way to change this to positive because the moment we change this to positive, this is where sometimes people call luck. We change the moment to positive and we cancel out this component and then our reality begins to move in a positive direction. And I hope this makes sense because we can, you cannot go to a motivational speaker don't care who you are, you can speak everything into your existence. It will not stick because you're resonating negatively. So when I got excited about this technology, I said, well, if I'm resonating negatively, I'm sick or I'm hurting, I'm in pain, I'm emotionally hurting, right? I'm going through all these distortions, how can I feel this? My kids are not aligning with me. My husband is not, are not, and it's not aligning with me. My wife my mother, my parents, whomever, job, everything is not aligning with me. I just feel like it's negative, negative. The reason you're feeling that because that is not what you desire, right? However, you begin to respond. So for example, let's say you're at the job, right? And then all of a sudden someone say something to you that normally you would not take too much personally, right? You're not, not going to take that personal, but when they say that in that moment, you react to it, right? Because you're resonating with that negativity. So everything that is said will be perceived as being negative. Because remember, everything exists in duality. I'll give you a, a perspective of how duality works, that everything in existence has both positive and negative in it. For example, in a religious context, one thing that I remember for a long time as I was going through that journey is that 6-6 six, six used to represent the mark of the beast or negativity, right? That is the, the worst thing you can visualize, right? But then I begin to explore that 666 also means the creation of life in, in science and biology, right? So what I noticed, both had the power. Which one was I resonating? Was I resonating out of fear that 666 is negative? Or was I res am I going to be resonating with 666 or something positive? Because everything has both the positive and the negative is how you choose to perceive it, how you choose to perceive it right now. So the goal is for us to learn to see the aspect of things out there that reflect the desire within ourselves. Right? So this is critical because your definitions, your belief system, everything about you begins and ends with you now. And so if you don't have positive people around you, which most of us don't, we still have to find a way to transform. And so this technology becomes your to go to. You bring the technology in and you run it and you begin to feel positive. When you begin to feel positive, people, places, and things around you begin to dissipate, it begin to go away, right? The ones people used to get on your nerve. And then sometimes the same individuals that were saying the exact same thing no longer bothers you because now you see the positive aspect of it, right? You see the positive in them rather than seeing the faults and the negativity in them. So again, this is this is how reality wants you to understand the nature of it. This is creation. This is not something I made up. You can test it. You will see it is consistent. It is absolute to the to the best of my ability and my knowledge that I've come to understand. So that's the, that's the first thing to understand. The next thing now is who am I in this in this circle? Who am I in this circle? Who am I? And that's on you. That is on you, ex, you know, on you personally, on you on an emotional level, physical level, 
on all aspects. That is on you, where you are right now. You can be the best doctor in the world. I've known some amazing doctors that are very sick. They're out there trying to do their best to help others, but they themselves feel empty. They feel disconnected. They're just, because they're just reacting. This is where you have to go to this inside, inside of you, keep going inside of you. And everything that defines you is what I called last week to start off to this week, pride. Your pride are your definitions of your reality now. Right? And that's where you want to understand about yourself. If you don't understand you, you can never make connections to your healing. You can buy all the technology, you can do everything, right? Because the technology out there are usually reactive. It's masking the symptoms. It's not really transforming. That's why in this country, you hear the drug company and the government, everybody saying there is no cure, right? Because they understand at the fundamental level, all they can do is mask. And if anyone comes and tell you otherwise, they go after them, right? So we're not saying we cure anything. Because there's nothing to cure outside of you. Curing begins inside of you. So when you look at your pride, you look at all your definitions, you have to really ask yourself, do I believe that I'm sick? Do I believe that I deserve to punish myself in order to perpetuate this sickness? And sometimes when you look at guilt, you look at other thing, other aspects of your life, you begin to punish yourself in order to feel good about yourself because of the things that you may have done in your life. Remember this, no judgment. Everything you have done in your life, it was predestined. Every aspect of your life was predestined. Negative, positive, because the soul, the mind, the body all has a purpose. The soul is absolute. It understands, it wants to understand contrast. It wants to understand this spectrum of this duality. It wants to understand it. And also you are the beingness of God's all knowingness. God is all knowing. You are the being. So that makes you valuable. That creates value for you. Doesn't matter what you call God. Doesn't matter if you call science, all that, if you call it through you know, energy, you call it God, you call it Allah, whatever you call it. The greater force that is outside of you that represents that which you exist within is that that wants to understand all aspects of itself. So it has creation to reflect back to it. And that's what makes you so important. You are reflecting back. And because of that, that sickness or that disease you may have gone through, it inspire and empower you to create a testimonial to others so they too can become inspired and transformative in their life. So that is one of the most amazing thing that you need to learn about yourself. You are valid. You are important. And that the entire universe, everything that is cannot exist without you. Next, let's go into the pride aspect. We talk about pride, pride, uh, ignorance, greed, stupidity. Pride is all your definitions. Ignorance are the information that you lack understanding of. Greed is your ability to self-perpetuate you. And then stupidity, what we call actionable stupidity is knowing, it's, I call it cognitive dissonance as well, a conceptual dissonance is where you know something to be bad, but you still do it because you can't help it or do it because of pleasure, you do it for whatever reason, right? And those dissidents, we might call it uh, stupidity or actionable stupidity because when you reflect on it, so why did I do that? So that is important for us to really take that into consideration that am I perpetuating actionable stupidity because it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense why I'm carrying all this sickness. It doesn't make sense why people around me are not related, are relatable to me. People don't love me all. I don't feel love. I don't feel connected. All those things, when you reflect that, you have to now look at your actions towards it. Right? If you say people don't like me, and then you find yourself insulting, right? disrespecting, talking down to, having a superiority complex about yourself, then you begin, you begin to see that dis-ease, that distortion. Why did I say all of that? We haven't had the ability for a long time since we've been on planet Earth until we started tapping into the idea of energy, till we started understanding the deeper aspect of ourselves. To go inside of ourselves is to understand energy work, is to understand how energy operates. And when you begin to understand that, all of this thing that has happened to me are definitions of me. It belongs to me. I own it. 
And once I own it, I take control over it, I can now transform from it. As long as I deny it and I push it away, I can never change from it. I just begin to reflect more of it. All of you out there have the power to transform. That is an absolute fact. You can transform, but it can become difficult because sometimes we, we believe transformation is transforming others outside of us rather than transforming ourselves so we can shift to the version of ourselves reflected back to us. So as I said, energy work, what David and others have done is bring this technology in, right? So now I can say, this is me right? in this, in this box. Now I can surround myself, I'm not a great artist, sorry. I can surround myself with a different environment in real time. I can, let's say, if I'm agitated or I have anxiety, I'm frustrated, or someone walks into the room, I get agitated and I get reactive because when I'm agitated, I respond in kind, right? It can be perceived as negative, right? So I've accepted what I am. I, I've not accepted it. If you reject it, that's up to you. Now I'm going to take this technology and then I'm going to run the frequency and I'm going to saturate myself as if I'm experiencing it right now because on the energetic level, the cells are going to resonate on the atomic level, energy, subatomic particles, everything is going to resonate with this. And it begin to vibrate on that level. You begin to elevate your vibration. And when you begin to elevate your vibration on a constructive level, you begin to transform. So you, you bring your environment to you. You don't have to go find nice people to hang out with, right? <laughs> or calm people to hang out with to be calm. You don't have to go find a guru to make you calm. You now have the power of this piece of technology right here to surround yourself and calm you, right? Whether it's a mental state, whether it's an emotional state, whether it's a physical state, you can transform you with this piece of technology or the one behind it. So that's what we want to do. So we are going to be going into the technology today so we can see what is it I'm feeling and how I can do that. But if you don't begin to end with yourself, you are just going to keep going through what we call the rat race in, in the financial industry, right? Just keep going through in, 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 in a circle. And if you go in a circle, it's a perpetual loop and you find yourself constantly starting back at the same place. It doesn't matter whether it's financial abundance, health, relationship, because you can have all the money in the world, but yet you have terrible relationship uh, manifesting in your life or the people around you are not relatable to you or your health is terrible. You can have all the money in the world and you're struggling to just breathe and exist. What is the purpose of that? We're here to have the best version of existence, right? So we can climb within ourselves on a higher level. And that's what, again, this technology will do for you. So if you are sick, because I know a lot of people come here to buy the technology to heal. Remember, David Chi Coil cannot claim to cure anything because anything outside of you cannot cure you. Okay? Let's establish that. It doesn't cure you. What it does it presents you an opportunity to internalize the best version of you so you can cure you. Because yes, I'm saying it to all the, the drug companies out there, to all the government agency. Yes, we have the ability to cure ourselves. No one can cure outside of you. They can give you instrumental tools, point of contact to help you. Remember a lot of people are, you know, are reacting to the outside. They're dealing with the physical, but the internal is where the program exists. The internal is, is where true cure exists. So yes, you can treat the outside. And for a season, it looks like it's, the problem has gone away. But what happens a month later, or two months later, or three months later? Because of habits, it manifests. Now, I shared this last time. I used to have people come all around as a holistic health strategist. And uh, they would come to me with all these different physical distortions. And I, we used to do detox. First thing, let's do detox. You know? We do detox on the physical level, on the energetic level. We did crystals. We did everything, right? But think about it. If you are deep and you're still putting the same poison or toxicity back in you, because remember, 85 to 90% of doctor visits has to do with stress, heavy metals, and toxicity, right? If you are putting those things back in you while you're detoxifying, it's for nothing, right? <laughs> you might mask it for a season, then it will come right back because of those manifestations, because of habits. You haven't identified what you are and what you're doing in response to that situation. And so what you want to do is that, okay, I understand there's a purpose to why I'm doing this or I'm experiencing this, but it no longer serves me. Let me put the version of me around me 
so I can begin to resonate and make that connection with it so I can begin to transform myself. So before we jump into the technology, I want to open it up because as I said, this is our platform. I want us to be able to jump in. This is this is this is not going to be typical of being lecturing to you guys. Right? I will share wisdom. You have a choice to receive it, put it on the shelf. But I want to open up what all of us are sharing our own experiences, and let's see how we can connect. Right? How we can connect on a higher level and be able to elevate ourselves. So I will open chat for anybody that wants to jump in, anybody that wants to call in and ask a question, raise your hand, and let's talk about it before we go to the technology. And I'm going to explore the technology in depth a little bit. I'm gonna to try to share my screen and see if I can see how you can see the apps and go through the app as well. So right now I'm opening up for any question based on what I've just said. Please, you know, rip it apart, share your experiences, right? So we can all learn from each other. And so we can grow. This is our platform. This is this is our learning platform. This is not Josie delivery message. So if anybody have questions they would like to share, please jump in and ask those questions now, please. Can everybody hear me okay? I wanna make sure before we move on to the actual tablet, let's see here. Here we go. Perfect, now it's coming in here. Hey Frank, how you doing today? Frank, you can unmute. There we go. Go ahead, Frank, can you unmute? Let's try someone else. Anyone else would like to come off mute? Richard, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Can you hear me? Okay, I want to make sure because Frank wasn't responding. Okay, I can hear you, Richard. Go ahead, good sir. So, the last time we met, you said if we had any questions, we could write you and send you an email, and you would respond. But that didn't happen. So yes, I have to respond. I wanted. I wanted us. I'm getting ready to respond to you now. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, Richard, I mentioned your name. I want to respond through the app. Because you did, you sent an email, and it was a long, detailed email. I wanted to make sure we're interacting live with the response. So this is what this is going to be today for you. So, in so the I, will address, I will address your questions. Yes. In the interim period, I have received my G-Coil Max. I received okay. that on. Okay. So I now have that set up. Okay. So you were suggesting to me, based on the fact that I had all these illnesses, five cancers, that I probably don't have a lot of love for myself and I've caused this myself. And I, I can accept that. I have been working on self-love. And as a matter of fact, I, I don't know if you are familiar with Bruce Lipton. Yes. Okay, well, so I took his class and I actually had a person do kinesiological testing with me. And okay. now according to that, I do love myself, okay? But I did it three weeks ago, but I've been working on it. And I, and I love that, right? Notice what you also said, Rich Chen. That's one thing I wanted to bring into life. You yeah, said, you say I had, I had, I had, and, and I want to make sure that we're not reactive, but proactive. You say I had, I had, I had, right? So in between those moments, more than likely you had opportunities where you begin to love yourself and you begin to manifest beyond that, right? So with yeah. the cheaper, the goal is, remember I said, we're going to look at the end results. What programs do you want to run to get the end results? As long as you run a program, right? If you run a program to get rid of disease, right? right? The disease yeah. will keep coming back because you're attached to the disease, right? So you hear, you see cancer, 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 right? You're beating cancer, right? And most people can transform cancer. So I will make it simple what cancer is. And I, and I went to the number one oncologist in the world. I had a uh, conversation with the number one so-called oncologist. And I said, what is cancer? I met several different oncologists and specialists around the world. And here was the definition that most was given. Cancer is a mutation. Cancer is a disease. Cancer is this, cancer is that. They were giving me distorted. And, and I paused all of them every time I said, talk mm -hmm. to me like I'm five years of age. Because NASA said the genius of the world are five and six year olds. So I pride myself to be a five and six, six year old mind mentality. So I need you to talk to me like I'm five and six years of age. They say, I can't. It's impossible. So well, why don't you try? And they couldn't. Right? because they're so used to regurgitating things outside of them. So I said, may I reflect something back to you? And then you tell me if that is good enough to simplify your definition of cancer. They say, go for it. I said, is cancer the, the perpetuation of healing in the body without stopping? And that the normal healing process is self-perpetuating, but something is missing in the body that tells the cells to stop producing. And he looked at me and he said, well, that's oversimplified. I said, no, that is not. I said, you are neglecting the nature of the immune system. You're neglecting the nature of the body, the communication system of the cells. 
and you are trying to put that responsibility outside and you cannot put that responsibility outside with reactive treatment. Cancer is an internal balance system, right? If your body is self-perpetuating healing, that means it's just healing, 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 it doesn't know when to stop. What if you give the body what the body is missing? Don't treat the cancer. Don't, don't, don't treat the heal. Treat the missing distortions in the body. So if toxicity and heavy metals may be the interference that is perpetuating the cancer, then treat that rather than being reactive. Now, here is the interesting part when I look them in the eye. I said, if cancer is healing injury and you go in the body and injure it more, are you not perpetuating the cancer? Because that is the dynamic. When you put chemo, radiation, all these different surgery, are you not injuring the body? And if the body doesn't know to stop injure and stop healing itself, then we have this the cancer on go. So I'm saying to everybody out there that deals with that distortion, you have to go back to yourself. What is it within me that I'm feeding me that allows me to perpetuate this, right? So when we notice people around the world, when they started to detox, right, whether it's heavy metals, whether they begin to reduce stress, whether they begin to remove some of the toxicity out of their, uh, out of their diet, the body begins to regenerate within the biome or right, the digestive system and the cancer begin to go away. And we call it, it's in regression, right? Whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. The body seems to do it on its own when you give the body what it needs, right? So stress, a little critical component, is what feeds the destruction of a lot of the, 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 the constructive cells, the healing cells within the body, because it rips it apart, right? And if you're not eating healthy in order to rebuild that, you begin to perpetuate those distortions and you're just going to be reactive, 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 reactive. Because remember, you're just healing. You just, you, you reacted to the healing, you stop the healing, but the body still knows how to generate healing. So I tell everybody out there, it doesn't matter if you focus on the distortions in the body. It says, you know something, I'm feeding these distortions in my body. What can I do? When you bring this, these frequency technology and you surround yourself with these residents, what ends up happening, it begins to go inside different cravings begin to take place. I I've seen this, right? So it's not a cure. Someone will start craving something bitter, right? <laughs> I, I noticed someone one time was, man, I said, like, I just like bitter things. I don't know why I like bitter things. Because a lot of times bitter things have something called mingling, right? And so when we're eating the bitter things, they don't know they were actually targeting, but it started inside of them. And that is something that I couldn't put in them, right? It's something that once they resonate, their diet is something else changed. Or some, some one other individual got up, he became more active, right? He started running, exercising. That was what his body needed because it started from within. Right? So we want to look at the end result. You want you want to be healthy, you know. You want to engage the family. You want to travel the world. You need to understand how do I, you know, give myself the necessary resonance, the connection in order for me to be able to transform. If you want to heal your family, how can that heal me? in a way where my family can reflect that healing back to me. And so I don't know, Richard, that making sense because that reactiveness is just a constant seesaw reaction that's yeah. happening. And you're conquering it, but it's coming back. You're conquering it it's coming because you cannot really get rid of cancer, can get rid of healing the body. You have to bring the body back to balance. And it begins with the mind being, and then it, 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 it facilitates the body. So let me be clear. I've not had cancer in two years, okay? So, yes. so now what I want to do, I think I'm beyond the cancer. Okay. I'm, I'm not. No, one never knows. Okay. But I would say this. So now I'm needing to grow new lungs. All right. Okay. okay. All right. So, so here, let me just say a couple more comments. Okay. And what I was saying in that regard is you were going to give me feedback on specific frequencies you thought I should listen to in terms of enhancing my self-love. Okay. Yes. But you didn't give me that feedback. So I don't know what those specific frequencies are. Yeah. You can you get ready to go on to those specific. You can type in love and you get all kinds of frequencies. Okay. But none of them really suggest yes. self love. Okay. And if you type in self, you type in, you can't type it. You can type in self love. It doesn't give you anything. You can type in love and it'll give you a bunch of frequencies. But mm -hmm. none of them relate to loving yourself more. Okay. Okay. So let's pause right there, Richard. So I, was looking for, I was looking for your guidance on telling me what are the frequencies that you specifically recommended that would direct me to enhance my self-love. That's what I was okay. looking for. Okay, Richard. So how do you define love, Richard? Having a, holding yourself in high regard, feeling yourself as having tremendous amount of worth, 
that God gave, put you here for a purpose and you feel that purpose. You feel certain that you're a worthy person, worthy of having a healthy body, worthy of whatever you want to manifest because you're a worthy person. That's what I think. So you, you, you look at, because there's so many different, like you said, frequency about love here. You know, and every yeah, there are is specific, right? So yeah. the reason I ask, what is your definition of love? Somebody else's definition of love might be different, right? And so I want to, and I'm going to go over it with you here once I share That's my talking about, talking about love of self, which is different than romantic love, okay? Love of myself, okay? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. So my, my typical definition of love would be acceptance in the now, oneself, right? Unconditional acceptance. Unconditional. That's a good thing. Yes, I like that perspective. Accepting yourself regardless of all your whatever, right? Yes. You accept everything about yourself. And you said, I'm fine just the way I am. Exactly. So that's what love is. Unconditional acceptance of oneself in the moment. Not okay. tomorrow. Your frequency. Not that's the frequency I want. What is it? Okay. So if we, do you, do you have your tablets with you? I guess. I got, well, I got it. I'm going to write it down. Look, okay. I got a tablet full of frequencies. You tell me the frequency and I'll look it up. Okay. Let me. I was trying to share my, because I brought the tablet is live, but I was trying to share the screen of it so you can actually see it. One second. I get a little up. overwhelmed by how many frequencies I got. So maybe. <laughs> I know. I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. So the first frequency I want you to start with, set of frequency, are your chakras. And it's not love. It's not something you just target specifically. Love encompasses everything. So you're going to start with, with the chakras frequency, all of them. You know, start with, there's, there's really several one. different ones. You're probably going to work with the crown. You're going to work with the fire. And here's the reason, right? Okay. When you work with, when you work with the crown chakra, you're making that connection of love beyond yourself, outside of yourself, right? You're extending it outside of yourself. When you go to your third eye, you're making that connection of love inside you, right? Yeah. And we be, when you begin to go outside the body, you begin to make connections on the physical level as well, right? So a lot of times when you look at those chakras, even down to your sacral, all those different chakras, and there's many more than this, this, the seven major chakras. When you go through that chakra, you're making connection and acceptance. So I would start with that. The heart chakra is a very powerful chakra because remember, transformation, the, the most intelligent organ in the body is the heart. It's not the brain. Right? So I know you're familiar, I know you're familiar with that, right? So yeah. you want to target that because that is where you want to force the intelligence to come from, from within your heart. It's not because of the rhythm of your heart beating, but it is the, the, the intoning in with people, places, and things, the emotion, the empathy, the, the compassion, the connections, right? And so I would start with the chakras first. You have those down. Just, just, and you can go and explore and you get to see how that makes you feel, right? Okay. And then there is a frequency specifically called Venus. I think there's a Venus frequency, right. the planet frequency. I will run that. You got that one? Do the chakras. Okay. Chakras. And then, I'm sorry? And, and eight chakras and Venus. Is that correct? Yeah, so go to Venus. And then if you go to the right frequency, there's one in the right frequency called love and harmony. All you right. can tap into that as well. It's, it's three minutes, and like I said, you can create a playlist. Yeah, I can. I learned how to create playlists. So I can. I know how to do that. Okay, and then in your right frequency is where you're going to see some of these. You're going to see love unconditionally, a love unconditional. Okay. You're going to add that to your playlist, and then here's what you want to do. As I gave you these frequencies for love, and you're running them right. Once you begin to feel it, then we're going to go into abundance because now you feel it, right? If you feel any other distortion, you want to be careful with the abundance. So we will continue with love, right? So again, the other one would be the right frequency have quite a few. Harmony and love. Are we harmony, going to that? Harmony and love. Remember what I said? The connection from higher to yeah. you, inner, outer, and then everything else begin to connect outside of you. And there's also one called spiritual love. Now. What about the solfege? Yes, you can use that because those frequencies are well known. They relate and, to chakra, right? Don't they relate yeah, to the chakra? It is in there. It, it does target a different aspect of resonance with, as it relates to the chakras. Uh, I think David has the chakra specific frequencies that aligns with that. So yes, if you want to, if you want to leverage those frequencies as well, David has his frequency on a quantum level as well as those base frequencies. 
So I would definitely look into those frequency. So Rachel, what you're looking for now is a holistic approach to creating this version of you that is able to become this beacon of love, a beacon of light, right? And right. When, you, when you begin to see that, because I know you're not into, I can sense you're not into the superficial material things anymore. That is gone, right? That is not something you chase after. You just, just want to have peace. I'm just, at this point in my life, I don't care about any of that. Exactly, right? You just you just want a peace. You want peace. You want a harmony. And you just want to have the best version of a day, right? And so and that's what we're going to do, right? So when you begin, when you start focusing on that, and now you want to target on anything specific, right? So once you, I would say, I would say the goal is if you're going to do it, do it for, I always say 90 days. And here's the reason I say 90 days, right? Anytime you target something, do it consistently for 90 days. Because new cells begin to manifest into the body with that level of resonance, right? So as cells are dissipating out of the body, new cells are coming in with that new right. definition. So you want it to align with your new definition consistently so it becomes a habit. Because one of the things I always tell people, your faith will be tested in order for you to be trusted. Right? And so on an energetic level, all energy loves you. What we call bad energy loves you, Richard, right? The, sick, the sickness of energy loves you. It wants to embrace you. It wants you to love it back, right? So all energy loves you, right? The goal is that's not the energy you want to resonate with, right? It's not right. judgment. That's it's right. just like where you live. Does that make sense? You can choose where you want to live. It doesn't have judgment where other people choose, right? So all frequency wants you. What I mean by that is it desires to have a connection with your awareness. So once you begin to do this 90 day regimen, I call it a 90 day connection, right? You will begin to be tested. You'll begin to see things to see, to go back to the old age, right? Someone will come to you and says, Richard, you are a mean, horrible, terrible person. And all you're going to do is smile. And you're going to say to yourself, that may have been an aspect of myself, but that is not who I am now. You have to say that to yourself because when those reflection comes back, you do not want to bring it back inside the internal judgment. You want to accept yeah. what was reflected because every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Sometimes the action that you have done six months, seven months, 10 years, 45 years ago may just be coming up because you're telling that I no longer, I no longer want to connect with you anymore. So it's coming back and it's testing you. So embrace that aspect in those moments and still love yourself in those moments as you go into this journey. Right. And so don't be overwhelmed with the technology where you run a bunch of different frequencies, you know, create, create a consistent playlist, create a playlist for love. Right. And I will say, do the love overnight with you. Since you have the, the max, lay the max next to your bed and run the love on repeat. I, I have the, I have the S3 next to my bed already. Okay. Now, perfect. I have the max next to my computer that I've spent most of my time during the day. So okay, run perfect. That, run that all day and then the others at night. Yeah. So I can so you know how to turn on repeat, right? So there's a repeat button here. Just hit the repeat. Yeah, right. I know how to do that. Yep. Now also do the shuffle. Yeah. So that way it randomly picks them. So yeah, there you go. So it'll randomly find because what will happen, your intention yeah. will on an unconscious level, on an energetic level, will begin to find those resonant without you having a conscious connection to it. So just put it on random, let those random op options come to you. And and at any time, randomly just hit that random button and allow, that's so why I say, I would say allow faith to take, its, to take its course with that. And I would say try that in 90 days and then create another playlist. Don't just consume with that. Don't make it something that you're consumed with, David. I'm sorry, Richard. You do it, right? And yeah. then you forget about it. Don't do it as work, right? You run it and then you go about living it. And you go about yeah. living life. When life comes at you and at time, you take a deep breath and you say, it is what it is until it becomes something else because it will become something else. So, so and, another question. What about, ahead. I just, I, I got a $500, you know, uh, certificate that I can buy new frequencies with. So of course I got the Ashkenaz, whatever that is, and the DMT. You think that would be worthwhile experimenting with those along this line? Why would you want to experiment with it? I thought maybe it would get me in an altered state where I might be able to get some insight as to what's going on. Why am I having trouble with accepting myself? Obviously, Remember what happened at the beginning with the chakras? Okay. Yeah. You think because that's the best? Yeah. As above, so below, so within, so it's out. So it's out. All right. 
So to focus on the chakras because you don't want to be too reactive to everything on the go. You know, those out of body experience or super natural experience, when they come to you, it's it's exciting, but it can also be scary and it could cause create fear if you're not expansive enough to understand it, right? A lot of things that you perceive as evil may not be as evil once you start to expand yourself. So it's important that you truly equip yourself. I've expanded beyond this reality where I've seen things that, you know, at first, I, it was judgmental. Then I began to understand it just another expression. You know, we talk about the etheric realms. We talk about yeah. we talk about possessions and different things like that. Those are not evil beings. Those are it's like imagining a lion all of a sudden jumping in somebody's body. It doesn't understand that aspect, that conscious aspect of reality. So when we open ourselves, sometimes we have other aspects of ourselves that jump in because we haven't closed it out. And when they jump in we begin to manifest certain aspects of ourselves that may not be something that we would normally do consciously. So I tell people, be careful when you start tapping into that. Make sure you're well-equipped. Make sure you understand true love, unconditional love, and true balance. Right? When you begin to do that, you begin to tap into other people's other people where you begin to see essence of other people. And that can become very difficult when you start to see them on physical level with judgment. So you know, yeah. train yourself. You know, read and refine yourself so that way you'll be able to empower yourself to empower the world around you. And, and Richard, again, if if we need if we need more, we would do more. I just wanted to make sure that we do it on this call. But you know, please, if you need me to call you, text me, or email me your number directly, and I will call you. I'm good with with calls. Then a lot of time responding. So just text I, yeah. me. I don't want to take up everybody's time. I hope some of my questions will. Email oh, me your know. number, Richard. I want to continue. You want me to give it to you now? Just email, email it to me. me. Email it to me so that way we don't have to put it in the public. And I will call you personally. Okay. Thank you, Sir Richard. You're awesome. Anybody else wants to jump in? Frank, go ahead. Can you hear me? I can hear you. How you doing? Good. Yeah, I just want to know, where, where does greed stem from? I'm sorry, repeat the question? Where does greed stem from? When you said greed. What is that? I, I'm not understanding. No, greed. Greed. Greed, G R double A D. G R double greed. You mean greed? Okay. Uh, okay. All right. So greed is it stems from the pride, mask, and ignorance. Right. So when you don't have accountability, right? Let's say you come into certain knowledge, right? What do you do, Frank, for business? Are you are you used to cut trees down? Okay. So. You do landscaping. You are a phenomenal landscaper, right? And when you first got into the business, you used to love making sure that your work represent your truth, right? You know, and you took pride in your work, right? And after a while, it become more capitalistic, right? You said, instead of going in and doing my best work, I'm going to go in and do just enough of what to pay for. Right? And sometimes the work is half done. That's because your pride has overlapped into ignorance. You have, you have not taken the other person into consideration that perspective of how you're affecting them. So now you're going to just dominate your essence on whatever you want to do to them and without taking consideration accountability for what you've done to them, right? So you go in and you yeah. do a half job and you do a terrible job and you move on and say, well, you pay you pay for this service, you need to pay for this service. And you begin to list all the other services that normally you used to do in order to show that person that this is the best representation of you. So that's where you begin to overlap your greed, you know, you overlap into greed, where you begin to ignore, you begin to ignore empathy and sympathy for that other person. And now you're perpetuating your nature of, you know, whatever your private, which is now capital gain. I need to make this money. I need to make this money over this person. There's nothing wrong with capitalizing, but don't compromise your value over that. So that greed factor, that's what leads you to that action where the things that you think you're trying to gain you end up affecting you because the customer, you begin to lose customer. And that's when you begin to sit back, well, why am I losing customer? I was just trying to set my time. Well, your time has now cost you customer. And so that becomes that actionable stupidity I talked about, right? You're, you're trying to do something because somebody has given you this model outside of you, give your time and that's all, don't do nothing else, right? And I'll give you an example yeah. of my situation, Frank. There was a gentleman who spoke about motivating kids, right? And I called, yep. I reached out to him and I said, I would like to collaborate to see how we can work together in order to really empower the kids. 
And he responded, he said, F you, Mr. G, I don't do nothing for free. If you want to help kids, they're going to have to pay me first. And he usually, he used the word, right? This is a man that was standing, sits on a platform, stands on a platform and talks to kids about empowering kids to have the best version of their life. That was only about gain. He was only doing it. So without that gain factor, it's not, it's not effective. And so his empowerment is not effective because even when I see the kids or I meet with the kids that he have tried to empower, it was only superficial. So you want to make sure yeah. that whatever you are, that the best version of you, you're reflecting that back to yourself in the lives of others. I think it's the famous saying, yeah. do unto others as you, done, as you have them do unto you. So that grief factor, be careful. And that is everything. That grief factor is, you, you, know, you know, even relationship, you want more from the spouse than the spouse wants. You know, you just gain, gain, gain. And that means that you're not taking into consideration of your spouse. It could be that as well. It could be business. Some one partner is just exploiting the business and not taking into consideration the other partners. Everything that is happening around you, you want to examine and says, am I doing it with balance and centeredness? Right? Except who I am. I know who I am. I know where I'm trying to go. But I want to make sure I don't lose me while trying to get that. Does that make sense? Yeah, maybe in other words, just whatever you do, try and do it, do it with, with love. In, with in love. Background. That is the best way. Do it with love as if love is over your shoulder, whispering at you what yeah. you do. <laughs> right? Yeah. And, and I do that sometimes. I've been in the classroom and I, I'll have a student that will come up to me and he'll just be belligerent. And then there's a little yeah. soft voice over, over my shoulder <laughs> that will say, just he needs love. And the other one over my shoulder say, get your belt out. Get, he needs some belt. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you want to go yeah. also. So I now have to focus on that aspect that says, yes, he likes love. You yeah, have to be um, selfless. There you go. There you go. But love yourself. Remember, the overflow of the love in you, you know, is, is what is going to guide you. If you don't love yourself, yeah. then if, you're faking it outside of you. Don't fake it. Let the love be natural instinctive. If you're in the right place, it won't cost you anything, you know. It won't give you stress or anything. There you go. You'll be able to. You'll be able to sort of like you. You put a, a reflection of yourself. You're. You'll be able to engage that person. Absolutely. And Frank, you said something powerful. You said surrounding yourself is critical. What is feeding you love? Sometimes it's not the people because we're looking for love from people, places, and things. Right. That's why going to this tool is so important. Finding the leveraging this tool and leveraging it in silence. Because sometimes when you speak, you actually undermine the sanctity of your growth and development. Because you put it out there, and if you put it out there to the wrong person, you, you tune into the energy. So it's very you gotta be very careful who you're speaking to because if that person is not in unity with you, it can compromise. Mm -hmm. This technology is all pure and all loving. It doesn't judge you. It, it, it's just, I'm going to give you what you need and what you want, what you desire. It doesn't have anything to reciprocate back to it. So you get the technology and you leverage the technology. And, and, and without words, without having to speak and just follow the feelings and follow your action. Let it be actionable wisdom behind the things that you do. Yeah. So it puts you in a better position to help somebody as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Start to help yourself and it overflows to others. Absolutely. Because yeah, yeah. The, remember I said last week, Messiah complex has caused me my blood pressure because of my Messiah complex. I have so many people around the world that pours into me and I'm taking all of that. And when I take all of that onto me, myself and trying to bridge into them, my blood pressure sometimes goes up to 205 over 195. And mm -hmm. I'm able to bring it down but then I keep taking more on again because I'm in that perpetual loop. So I'm learning to mm -hmm. just be okay without being able to be that for everybody and just focus on internally. You know, but in my mind, I'm almost like, if I go in, I'm going to lose all those people that need the help. But that is not mm -hmm. my job here. My job is to experience the best version of me because all that is created everything with a purpose. Yep. Thank Makes you, sense. Frank. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you for your time. Anybody else? Barbara, jump in. Anybody else wants to look at frequency? We can talk about frequency. What frequency do you think best serves what you're trying to achieve? Anybody can just jump in, just speak. There you go. Go ahead. Did you know me? Maurice? Oh, hello there. Blessings, Maurice. How you doing? Uh, not so bad, thank you. You've got a British accent. Are you originally yeah, from? I'm, I'm from uh, United Kingdom, but not, not, not my parents. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I love the British accent. When I first came from Africa, <laughs> I had learned all English. 
it didn't work well for me in the classroom. Yeah. <laughs> Proper English, but I love the accent. Go ahead. Yeah, I've got, yeah, I'm sort of struggling. Um, I'm really struggling financially. Um, I'm 47 next month and I live my, still live with my parents. Uh, all my life, I've literally had no money from jobs. Uh, it's quite, it's very common in the UK where we, we literally get paid nothing in our jobs. Uh, I would like to raise enough money to go abroad and I don't know how to go about doing this. I've got a few cheek oils. Uh, I've got a few free ones that I, I have to, when I, after I did a survey and I like to, as I say, turn my life around. So you say you got some free cheek oil, right? Yeah, after doing a few surveys for them. Well, that's fine. Free ninety nine is the best type of payment. Okay, so yeah. so let's look at what you're asking for. You're asking for a conduit to give you the things that you desire. You say I need yes. more money to be able to travel. You got the technology for free, right? Now, how do you not know this, right? Because that's one thing to self reflect that maybe the technology comes in for self-empowerment to change your mentality because we want to change your thinking about uh, lack, okay. right? Okay. You yeah. do not operate in lack, right? The fact that you move in with your mother is a blessing, right? Sometimes moving in with your mother, maybe there was a disconnect from the time you were there with her previously before you moved out, right? Yeah. So you never know what inside of you require you to have this experience. And when you have this experience, sometimes you feel like it's a negative experience. Let me give you, because I always like to give an example because yes. I, I'm just as guilty of it. So I'll give you an example. I was relocating and I did not want to relocate with my family because relocating requires me to be around a particular individual that I didn't feel like was best for me, right? And I resisted it. I resisted this person that seemed like me and that's me taking charge. Person like me, why would I want to be around? have time for grown folks right that was that was all that part of me and so what the universe has or what god has is that when god shifts you right everything around you will work for you not against you once you're locked right so one of the mistakes i was making i was reactive not proactive right so instead of dealing with all the stress of that which it was intense stress right it was terrible stress right for me personally i felt like it was overwhelming because there were certain people I allow into my inner circle that I, I accept unconditionally, right? And that unconditional means that I put all my walls down. And so it's easier to be affected and hurt by that person. And, that, and I do that to help train me sometimes. So I felt like I was being severely hurt and damaged. Right? So I began to run the frequency, like most of you, and I wanted to deal with the situation. So my intention was, how do I bring love into this situation? How do I bring the end results? I don't care about that. I don't care about this, right? So what ended up happening? I did take this thing. In fact, everybody, even counselors, told me to not do this, right? But I had the cheap one technology that says, I need, it, start, it begins to ends with me. Nothing out there can affect me if it's not within me. So I ran the frequency and I moved. When I moved, everything began to dissipate. Right? In fact, the person that I was challenging became the blessing for me that I needed in order to be able to achieve other things. So you don't know where the energy is guiding. But what I would say right now, disconnect from the end results. Embrace what is now. Remember we talked about at the beginning, accept what is now, where you are. Yeah. And love where you are right now. Accept the fact that where you are, you're blessed. There are people who woke up this morning under a bridge. Right? People woke up this morning starving. People woke up this morning. There's so many people in the world that are, that are less fortunate than you. When you begin to walk in that gratitude, you'll begin to see, you'll begin to move higher. Not you did, This is not a competition between you and anyone else. This is yeah. living your own unique purpose. So don't look at anybody else's achievement. You 40, I, I remember when you started this conversation, you said, you're 47. That's amazing. You've been, you've been blessed to live to 47. Most people... I've not made it that far before the D animated, right? You made it here. So obviously there's still a purpose for you. Then you with families, love your family, love yourself, and then allow the rest to manifest and begin, begin to open yourself to all possibilities. No okay. judgments, right? Somebody might call you out of the blue and says, Maurice, just wanted to call you and reach out to you and say, I have this opportunity. And this has been happening because I mentor some other people and they told me the same yeah. thing. Like, it's like, you, it's like Joseph, you were speaking into my soul. I wasn't speaking into that soul. 
I allow their soul to speak through me because I open myself up because I allow myself to tune in to the balance of my higher self. And so when they release everything, synchronicity begins to kick in because that's what the quantum realm does. It collapses and allows potential that your desire begin to open up. The first one might be, you know, you might, you might get a job interview, right? Your dream job, right? And then you will go and interview for the dream job, but you don't get it. That is not a negativity. That is a movement because you're now connecting with your dream job, but you, you're not properly aligned. Go back and balance yourself some more. And then another dream job that might look better will come again, come again until, until the right one for you come about. So accepting those rejections, accepting those distortions is something that is difficult for us, but that's something I would say I encourage you yeah. to accept. Allow this technology to help you keep your peace of mind and balance as we go into that journey yeah. and that lack of judgment. So yeah. if you have, I'll say, run the luck for you. Look at the basic luck, you know, the basic frequency will work. So if you look I've got at luck boost, yeah, I've got luck boost. Yeah, so start run calm, right? Okay. And then run open. Do you have access to open? Let me see. I've got a spiritual awakening, third eye, inner peace, luck boost, electric chair activator, uh, DMT, I just got frequency, fall asleep fast, disease plus abundance and release and uh, speed. You, you have the basics. Go to the uh, basic. The, the, the basic that comes with every every tool. Everybody should have the basics. I don't think so. No. Okay. So, oh, you have it. Do you have it on the phone or do you have it on the tablet? I've got it on my laptop. You have it on your laptop. Okay. So, I don't. If you have the actual app, there should be the basic because the basic usually come with the technology. The lowest technology come with the basic, and in the basic, it has remove negative energy. It has calm, open, luck boost, sleep, soothe, recharge, and regenerate. Start with those basic, because a lot of people want to go to the more complex, you know, because in their mind, they think more is better. Well, the less is more from where you are, right? Mm -hmm. You can't consume, you know. You know, if I give you a, a tub full of food, you can't consume the food because it's not conducive to you. You take just enough of what you need. So start with the basic, and if you can, look for the calm, Right? Start to center yourself, calm, but look at the open. The open will explore your third eye, right? Because you're, it's your inner self. Begin to see your inner self and begin to see what distortions may be manifesting from the inner version of you. And so start okay. with that and then do the luck boost. Because remember, last week we talked about vibration. Vibration moves in this. So you got infinite vibration moving. So it moves, I would say to make it simple, you're moving like this on a swing. You're moving up and down, right? That's your vibration for a particular thing, right? You got infinite things happening around you. So this is your vibration moving. Now what end up happening, you need to shift, right? So in order to shift, sometimes you have to slow down the vibration of a particular thing. And that requires you to go inside. So when you slow this down, then you remember we got to zero yourself out. So you zero yourself out, then you have perspective to shift. As long as you're moving like this, you can get all the frequency and it's just going to keep moving this way. So you have to learn to sometimes slow down, look for those frequencies to slow you down till you get to almost zero. And then you're able to consciously or unconsciously shift. So look for the calm, look for the balance, look for the luck. Because once you get here and you do the luck, then the luck says, well, I do not perceive luck as a negative thing. That's one of the changes. Now I'm moving into a positive perspective and I do this. When you are here, you want to do the remove negativity because in your mind, unconsciously, you believe the negativity is what is guiding you to keep moving this way. So when you say remove negativity, it's an inner connection to you to say, I'm trying to disconnect from it. I'm slowing down. I'm slowing down. Now I'm at zero because I don't feel judgments to what people place there. Right? Now let's run the luck. Oh, let's let's try the luck and see how the luck guides me to something. But, but Maurice, love yourself, accept yourself. There's nothing wrong with you where you are on your journey. You're perfectly perfect where you are in your journey, Maurice. So you can also do this. I do this practice myself, right? So we we have the frequency, but sometimes when I'm running the frequency, I do this. I tap on top of my head, and I tap and I say, I love myself because I was made perfect. I'm perfect just where I am. I accept myself. So I tap the top chakra and I do my inner chakra and I tap. Just this EFT. I love myself because I was made perfect. And I begin to speak that. Right? 
They're not going around my eyes. The reason people don't tell you this, the reason going around your eyes because you want to tap so you can see better. Right? So you tap for your higher perspective, yeah. the intuition. Then you begin to move around your eyes. So the top of your eyes, side, and then under your eyes. So you begin to explore different perspective. And then what you do, you go around your mouth. So you begin to speak yeah. more about positivity, right? And then I usually would tap sometimes around my heart chakra so that way I can activate more the power of my heart. And then I hug myself and I tap on the, both my arms because this is a manifestation. So again, on top, I want, I, I want the higher self to speak to me freely without any distortion. I want to be able to see that. I want to be able to speak that. I want to be able to love that. And I want to be able to embrace and accept that. And that begins. Uh -huh. So try that as you're running the frequency as well. Anybody else? Thanks for thanks, Maurice. I appreciate you. Love yourself Maurice. again. Continue loving yourself. Anybody else? Barbara, I'm just going to unlock. Anybody wants to jump in? Please jump in. Yeah. Hey, my name is Ron Oliver, and I, I spoke to you last week. I'm I'm getting a little frustrated with your support. I'm not getting any response back from them. I did email you as well, and didn't get any response about some frequencies too. But you mentioned that you will put that in the app, but I can't get anybody to send me the link to the app. It's not on Apple. So I'm not sure what's going on there. And so, and I, so I can't use it to do Wi-Fi headphones because I can't get the app to, I guess, connect to Wi-Fi, but I don't have yet to get any response back from support. So let's, let's see if we can rest, uh, fix that right now. So you're saying that you don't have the updated app at all? No, not at all. And you said you would have them send out the link. Okay. They were supposed to send that, but let me do this real quick. I'm going to drop a link. This is the app. Let me see. You need your username and password, of course. You have your username and password, correct? Well, no, that's the thing is that I when I go to hit I forgot password to get my password, it says it'll email it to me, but then it never does. And then support doesn't respond. Did you check your junk mail to see if it spams? Yep. I will reach out to Boris and David directly with regards to your concern especially if your email is not a general. How long ago did you purchase the device? It's been probably six months. Six months. And you have not used it since you received it? There was a, there was a, no, I have been using it, but I've been using it with headphones that cover my ears because that's the only way that I can do it. And I have to go to the website to listen just to the free ones. And I can't even purchase the other ones because I can't get the app to do it. So I'm not sure. It's, it's, I'm kind of confused as to what's going on. Because I, I would like to be able to use, if there is an app that I can use on my phone, okay. I would like to be able to use that so I can sort through the frequencies and stuff, but I, I'm just not getting any support. Okay, one second. Let me go. So if you go, are you using an Android or are you using an iPhone? iPhone. Okay. So I know the app is not on. The last time I checked, it was originally on the iPhone, and I know they're yep. working on that, but it's no longer on the, on the iPhone. It's on the Android. Yeah, and, but that's been that's been at least six months because that happened when I first got it. There wasn't an app. There was an app originally, but then I guess they were having problems with that app. So then they say just go to the website. Something's coming. I mean, man, that's been six nine months. Okay, so that technical issue that's something that I talked to David about to see what is the status on the app store because I remember it was on the app store originally. That's where you probably yeah. got it. From. And I myself, I tried. So I tried to manipulate. It so what I would do is I would look at, I'm going to look at a workaround to see how I can get you guys to be able to download. So maybe when we meet next week, this is my commitment to you between now and next time we meet. And I'll, if I get the answer before I will email you back, see if we can do a workaround where you can still download an app into your iOS tech uh, operating system. Because I was working on that because today I was trying to do that. And there was a lot of work around because I couldn't get the app, uh, the, the Android app to actually be on the MacBook. So I'm work, I'm doing a workaround. And when I put my mind to something, I usually can find the answer. So let me work on that for you, if you don't mind. And to see at least a workaround to allow you to be able to get that uh, frequency going through your... Because if you're answering, only answering questions in the app and we can't get the app, then because you didn't answer my questions last time either. Sorry to be on you about it, but I've had this for a while and struggled with it because I can't even connect my wireless headphones to that little thing without it's any sort of app to put on my phone. 
you can't do it on the computer. So I've had this for a long time now and not been able to use it to its full thing. Absolutely. absolutely. So have you tried to maybe purchase the, the, the Android tablet? Because it comes with an Android tablet. Did you get an Android tablet with yours? Uh, no, I, I'm not going to purchase. I have an iPad <laughs> and an iPhone. Yeah. I don't want to purchase an Android device just for one app that should be available for this system i mean iphone's the biggest phone being used yes i honestly i i have i have both i have my android as a backup well let I, i'm sorry again i can only apologize for uh, my 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 aspect of, i may have missed your email i know i got richard but i don't even remember getting any other email beside the other richard so uh, i will check my email see if it went into my spam but yeah, so if you, can, if you could respond to those emails directly, that would be great because I can't get access to the app or use. One, one other thing, Rachel, can you join the community? There's a community where you can join where you have direct access to me, Dave, and everybody in real time. So I do have that notification coming. So if you join the community and you send me a direct message, it will pop up. Sometimes, because I have about 20 different emails and they're all feeding to me, you, you understand the dynamic of that. So but what yeah. I want, if you can join the community, I will keep an eye for you in the community. And that way I can share the conversation between you and David directly and have David take actions immediately for it. Because you deserve, you deserve to be able to leverage this technology for maximum yeah. support. It's been, it's been quite a long time. But my question was, can I use this with other frequencies? So let's say, you know, all, all over Instagram and the web, they're like, you know, okay, the 963 hertz removes parasites, the 528s of the of the earth. So can I play a, a 528 binaural beat through this and get benefits from it? Or do I only have to, or can I only use your frequencies? Well, uh, I have, I have mix and match. My, uh, I have, uh, in, in fact, I'm glad you said that. With the new upgrades, there is RIPE, but the RIPE also have me to be able to create a, a unique frequency if I want to as well. Okay. So to answer your question, that's one that we need, I was saying about the upgrade, because once you get to upgrade, it does that. It gives you access to everything in one central location on the very top here. You will see right if I hit right, if I can do the right frequency or I can just do the frequency and select. Now to answer your question, yes, you can do that, right? If you want to use the technology, because remember the technology allows you to feel the, you know, you know the frequency rather than having it penetrate to the hearing. Because both you still feel it, but if you want to not have to hear it and you want it in silence, because sometimes we just want that silence, I would say try and see how it makes you feel. I can I can guarantee how it's going to respond to you but i've had some that have responded positively to me i have some unique frequency that i generated myself i put together myself that allows me to accelerate uh and so i do use that to you know that helped me awaken my kundalini if some of you know what that is it's just the energy that penetrates from your base to the top of your crown uh to freely flow and so I have used that. I have used several other frequencies as well. And then also others. I've used other technology. I said I've used the brainwave headphones to True. use its, its frequency through the technology as well. Okay. The, the technology is meant to be able to overlap because it's a delivery system for you to be able to put those frequencies into you. Now, how you're going to respond so you can put the blame back on the technology. Say it doesn't work because you remember these frequencies, as I said at the beginning, is something that has to be practiced and something that has to be consistent in order to allow the transformation. But again, my heart goes out to you for the past six months that this problem have not been solved. We'll tackle that. And then my guarantee when we get on the call again, it should be solved before the next time we get on this call again. Awesome. That's Thank great. you very much. I guarantee to you. I do apologize again. Next. Hey, this is Jeff. Can you see me? Hey, sir, Jeff. How you doing? Good, good. A couple, oh, I have question, but I wanted to just comment on Maurice's call because there's two things that sort of popped out at me. One is you were talking okay. about the EFT, EFT tapping points. And I just wanted to say that those are very easily discoverable online. You can just tap for, or you can just you know search for EFT tapping points and it'll show you exactly where they are. And the other thing I wanted to say to Maurice is buy the book the Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin. And it's very inexpensive and you may find it even free in some places. And it will really get you going in the in terms of all the stuff you were talking about, Josie. But it's just, a, it's a great background. It's great, it gives you a great basis for learning that stuff. So Jack, can I ask a question? I love what you just said. Can I ask a question? Because for me, 
is always about the path of least resistance. So sure. take me through the, your journey, how that was inspiring for you. So that way, when others listen to your testimonial, they will have some stepping stone. Because getting a book is easy. We can, we have a bunch of books. I have. Oh, sure. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we all have our favorites, okay. right? And yeah. no, Florence Goebelshin really appealed to me for a number of reasons, but primarily it's her simplicity and all and her basis in, I guess you could call it, you know, sort of the, a, a, a return to more simplified Christian scriptures, but it's really, it's, it's really, it's really such so much more than that. I mean, she's a very down to earth person. I mean, this book was written in 1925 and yeah. she was an artist and, but her approach to the whole, you know, the, in the early 20th century, the whole truth movement was going on, which was this, these ideas that were going back to the basically metaphysics, you know, these ideas about manifesting and about changing your beliefs and about getting rid of all negative negativity, negative thoughts and all that stuff. And, you know, about re basically reprogramming yourself. <laughs> and her thing was, aff her things, her thing was affirmations. So anyway, it's, it's a, it's a great, it's a great plunge into that, a great, very simple plunge, short book into that whole world of getting a, getting a grounding in, you know, changing your outlook and manifesting and that sort of thing. So anyway. Okay. Um, and I hope so, Maurice was listening. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's great. And I, you know, and Josie, I thank you for having this workshop too. I should just say, I'm very appreciative of you having, taking the time because I just got my coil uh, 3S system this past Thursday okay. and I'm very excited about getting into it and, and using it. And I've been playing with it a little bit, but, but my question about that in sort of in terms of the te technology and in terms of the, in terms of using it is, and sort of piggybacks on, on, on what Richard the first Richard was talking about in terms of what you were uh, recommending in terms of like the, the chakra frequencies. So he, it seems that like what you're recommending to him and what he's doing already is using the chi coils passively in terms of while sleeping and at his desk. And for instance, with the, with the, with the chakra frequencies, the seven chakra frequencies say, you know, I'm, I, I'm also interested in exploring the, the active use of the coils. Right. And I also, you know, I have done recently, you know, my own meditation on the chakras. So I'm wondering like the viability of say doing a chakra meditation, you know, going through the chakras one by one along with the chakra frequencies in sort of an active meditation. I mean, I know that you can do, I know that it's recommended by, I've read some of the other and seen some of the other videos online about this, but I'm wondering what your take is on doing something like that, like using, using the frequencies in an active way with an active sort of meditation. So to answer your question, let's look at it in a simplistic way, right? The, the device creates an environment. What you choose to actively or consciously or unconsciously, I like us to use the word consciously or unconsciously, right? What you choose to you, how you choose to experience yourself in that environment, conscious or unconscious, is up to you. Right? On an energy, on an energetic level, it doesn't matter if you're conscious or unconscious. That's the whole purpose of this technology, right? Is there to create the environment. Consci we have been, we have spent so so many centuries trying to consciously transform our environment, right? And a lot of times we find ourselves reacting to the environment rather than transforming our environment. Uh, as I share, I went to a Vipassana meditation center. It was a different environment. The ambiance, everything was different. And I remember a young lady share her testimony. She said, being there, and she said she was there for 20, you know, the 20 days, and then she went to the mountains for six months, seven months. She said she came back home, back to the inner city. She said, I could not find no space for me to be able to feel that connection because loud noise and everything was just terrible. So the goal is create the environment and how you choose to experience the environment, let it be unique to you. So if you want it to be active, for example, I, I said with Maurice, we can do tapping, right? I do tapping with my kids. So I run the frequency and then I do the EFT tapping, you know, but I, I, I create a purpose for the EFT. I don't try to make it uh, generic where you tap in order to remove problems. You tap into affirm to yourself, the aspect of yourself that 
you want to be. You know, I love myself because I was made perfect. That seems to be the one that I speak a lot of, right, with them. And then I'm gifted, I'm talented, I'm smart, I'm intelligent. I have them go through that. So how that's active, right? You know, and then there's other time where I have them just doing work. I run the brain frequency and just have them do uh, an algorithm that I design. I have them do the algorithm that I expand their capacity to comprehend, process, and reflect. And that is uh, unconscious. So the frequency is unconscious with them based on what they want to do. If they're working with uh, the algorithm, which is called uh, the bright learning system, that frequency is supporting that specific task. If we're meditating, so I'll give you this last this last thought. These kids will come in, they couldn't sit for a uh, five seconds, 10 seconds, right? They were all over the place, second graders. They were sitting for 45 minutes because the frequency creates the environment where they were able to sit still and become mindful, right? These are kids with ADHD. These are kids with all these distortions that have been defined by the outer world. So how you choose to use it, let it be unique to you. And then once you feel there's a value to it, then share that value with us, right? This is what this platform will do. You can come back and say, hey, Josie, I tried this and I did this within that platform within that you know running this frequency and doing that and this is the result this is everybody out there this is what we want this is what i need because i need i need to feed off that as well come in and tell us what you did share the wealth with how the frequency will work for you and but what step in stone uh, and testimonials are great everybody's reacted to the testimony can care less about the testimonials right i care about how what was the step in stone that allowed you to get from a to b and what is the consistency of that? I, I need consistency. I need efficacy, right? And so I'm looking for those things. So when you do that, please come back and share it. Anything you want to do, please do it. Run the frequency that resonates with you. Run the frequency that you think will target the objective and create the environment and then see the effectiveness, right? Uh, it's all about process, right? <laughs> yeah, because that's what we need. We need that process because, sure. you know, there's so many people, you know, everybody out there, <laughs> I like to say a lot of people out there test the line. They're not testifying, they test the line, right? They're out there, you know, I heard somebody say, thank God today I got $5. I, I found $5. I was able to put $5 in my gas, but if my car broke down trying to get here, I say, that is not a testimony. Don't share that. The car broke down, right? <laughs> so, so you want to make sure that when you see something, you're not just trying to uh, you know, relate to what somebody else is saying or somebody else is doing. You're creating a path of least resistance so others can see, oh, listen, Jeff, try this path. Maybe this path might work for you. Josie, try this path. Maybe this might path. This is not the truth. This is just a truth. So I'm asking all of you out there to explore. You're all experts. Energy belongs to you. That's your superpower. Use it. Tap into it. You know, feel it. And then connect with it. And then come with your expertise and share it with us and see how I work with you. And I work for you so others can be inspired to take some of the steps as well. Yeah, I totally get that. Totally get that. I mean, it's like there's 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 so many possibilities, I think, with this technology. And I think that for those of us who are just starting out with it, it can be, as others have said, I think there's so many choices that it's 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 sometimes hard to know exactly what the course is. And as you said last time, you know, use your intuition and you know, or 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 go by, you know, scientific method or however you would get there. Or just see, like I was doing the other night, just see what 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 titles of frequencies look good to you, you know, and and so yeah. So anyway, yeah, thank you very much. Absolutely, yeah. And then please come back and share your experience. Uh, congratulations on taking power and taking control of your environment. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Next, anybody else? Just jump in. Make sure everybody. Hey, is... Frank again. Hey, Frank. Go ahead. Just a question about affordability. Okay. When I when I first had a look at, at purchasing a Zhong item, I thought it might be a hundred, two hundred, or yeah, you know, maybe a hundred dollars for the for the little coil. Mm -hmm. And then I looked at the overall price, and it was two to two and a half thousand for um, the for 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 yeah you know, the the larger coil and and the program and all of that. So you start from where you are. So you go there, you go to the site, and you see what works with you. So th there's the mini, and I love the price. Because if you go directly to the site, yep. they have all the different versions of it. And I believe the mini is three ninety nine. Now, David, the value of that 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 mini technology is about twenty six hundred. Why? Because of the <laughs> type of frequency that even comes with it. Right? So yep. you have to understand. Maurice, you need value in order to create value for yourself. 
right? If you think something is not valuable, then you're not going to take that into and import that value. So this is a valuable asset. This is a valuable tool. You know, it's not an expensive tool. It's a tool that has value. So it becomes valuable, right? And so David has discounted it to a, a three ninety nine, right? But you can get the mini. Start with the mini if that's where you are. Okay. Don't push for the max. Start with the mini and then allow the manifestation. If the max is meant to be, you will achieve the max. If yep. the aura is in your future, you will achieve that. But ultimately, use the technology from where you are to help shift you to where you need to be. And the I'm many a small towel and a big towel. I'm sorry. Again. I don't see people. Sorry. Sorry. Okay, that was wrong. Okay, go ahead. So get it and get the basic. So you get the basic frequency and start with that basic frequency. David has a combination of everything in there. Uh, the meditative state is so good. I know because, you know, a lot of people, if you're not a meditator, you don't know how to meditate. You know, it requires discipline. This will get you into that in a meditative state. You can just find 10 minutes, 15 minutes of time to just sit still. That will help you rather than going somewhere and spending like I did for three and a half hours in the morning, afternoon and night. To learn how to meditate yep. and, and 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 the meditate i, I want to share this crazy testimonial about meditation right so i was at this vipassana meditation center i think it was day it was day six day seven and i was in the zone i was so in the zone i felt great i had the, the previous day i had sat still for three hours without flinching because in my mind yeah. i was the center in my mind i was thinking about other people I've seen in movies, you can say it for whatever, right? But destiny yeah. has a sense of humor. So I remember on the, I think it was the sixth or seventh day, I'm meditating and I had exceeded three and a half hours. Did not move yeah. standing, standing still. And all of a sudden, remember, I'm supposed to be balanced. I heard, I heard a fly, right? Oh my God, I lost my everlasting mind. I'm sitting there and I'm threatening this fly. I say, if you touch me, I will kill you and your entire family. I'm supposed to be huh. meditating and yes. come. And this fly yeah. has pulled my attention while I'm threatening the fly. Don't touch me. Yeah. I'm going to kill you. I'm trying. And, and I'm, I'm lost. The moment, right? the moment's not so perfect anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And so the fly sits on my nose. And it's because I was so yeah. in total. It's like somebody had a drill on my nose and I was just yeah. so angry and I was like, oh, give me 10 more minutes and I'm going to kill you. And, and I'm like, this, I'm supposed to be in the zone. And the reason I say that, because that which you resist will persist, right? And I went yeah. to meditate so I can be in tune and did my, my smallest test was a fly that I couldn't be in tune. And then I had yeah. to find a way to center myself where the fly no longer became an instrument in my pursuit of being in center. So I'm saying that yeah. if you get what you have or what is afforded to you by source or everything, it will get you to where you need to go. Because later, after I accepted the fly, I was able to go further in my meditative state and beyond to a deeper state. So I share those testimonies with you because life is not going to come at you the way people speak of it on the stage and you're going to just replicate it. You're going to try to replicate and you're going to fall. It's the process of getting up and trying to move forward because that is life. Life is it's a constant of change. You know, that's the only constant in life is change and learning how to adapt. So Maurice and everyone else learn to adapt and let, let that be a constant and grow from that and then share how you did that so others can maybe be able to uh, align to the path of least resistance for them as well. Yeah, and just to conclude, the, the mini is three ninety nine. That sounds good. I wasn't aware of that. So for three ninety nine I get the the little key, the little coil. And does it come with the basic program that you mentioned where you can go to you can run calm and then run open? Does it have yeah, that? So yeah, so it has the basic and then it has I think they have some with the rifle or has the basic. So just explore if you want the rifle or you want the basic. I would say the right okay. is external and then the basic. So, and then if you want, yeah. I would say get the basic because the basic is multiple different paths of the frequency. And then if you want yeah. to add the right, you can just add the right. But yeah, just get just get this and get started. Yep. Yeah. And do I pay a monthly fee for that? Don't I? 
No, you must frequency. purchase it. You don't pay a monthly fee. I think they have a monthly subscription for the right if you want all of it. And that's something yeah. I wanted to even maybe mention to David, maybe creating a subscription where other people can have access to all of the frequency for subscription price or annual subscription price or monthly. Yeah. So that way that you can pick and choose. But be careful to not become overwhelmed where you, oh my God, that, that looks so good. That looks so good. Where you can't really choose what is best for you because you're distracted. Remember, it's your intention yeah. is necessary for this uh, for this uh, technology to work best for you or for energy to work best for you. You need to make sure you align with your intention of what you're trying to achieve on the end result of everything. In this and um, I can run it off my phone. Is that right? Or is it better to run it off a laptop or a tablet? So with this from your phone, I, I know you, I can carry this. It even comes sometimes with a neck, uh, little neck chain. You can hook it up. If I want to carry it around, if not, you can hook it up to your uh, tablet. You can hook it up to your iPhone. You can hook it up to your, we well, know iPhone is having some technical difficulties here, but if you can run the frequency through that, but I use my Android for it, Android tablet, if you if you get the tablet. Mm -hmm. I believe this one comes with resident council tablet one. So you do get a tablet, which is great. You, you know, you can use the tablet. Sometimes you can yep. also download the app in the Android store to use this. Yeah, because a mobile has its own radiation or, or EMF which could get in the way, couldn't it? Okay, good, good, good. Remember, again, your intention is key. Keep your intention on that and understand that you're transforming. Sometimes less is more, you know, and sometimes more is better. Otherwise, it all depends on the individual. Yep, okay. And are there any specials coming up? Dave, is always, if you're part of the community, there's always specials going out to the community members, so please make sure you sign up for the community from the website and join the community and with, with specials. Make sure your email address is, uh, you sign up with the correct email address and specials usually come out. Discount, they will all sometimes come out with 10% uh, off. Or, but here's also what you can also do. You can come in and become an affiliate, right? You can tell people about this technology yep. and be able to earn it. So if you tell others and they purchase uh, the referral fees, I think David has 10 to 20% referral fees for just referring somebody to purchase yep. the device. So that could be another way. So there's so many different ways you can earn this technology for you. So look at the referral program and refer this program because sometimes somebody else around you might want this in the back. And by getting yep. this, you can you can get the, the three S by them getting this. Yep. You know? So look at that referral option yep. and also look at an affiliate uh, option as well if you choose to take this to the next level. Yeah. And where can I find the, the, the Mini 399? Do you have, is it just a general website in that, that, that David has? Can I find it there? Or do you have a specific link? Just so to be sure that Chi I don't. Life, just go to the chilifestore.com and it's there. I, I, okay. I have a specific link, but just go to the Chi Life. So you can just Google Chi Life. Yeah. Chi Life is Q-I and then L-I-F-E dot com. And then just search the site. And then sometimes yep. if you just just hit Google Chi Life Mini, it will redirect you to the mini directly. And then, so just Chi Life, let me see. Yeah, just do Chi Life Mini and it will take you there. In Google, in Google. Okay, cool. Yep. I've got that now. Thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. Yeah, and everybody else, please, you know, share. This technology is needed for the world. Y'all want to change the world. We want to change the world. We want to see what is out there to change. It begins with us. We need to change us. Everybody wants to change everything out there. No, we need to change us. Get get the technology. Talk about the technology. Look people in the eye and say, listen, do you know you are greatness destined for great things? Speak that into their lives. Say, you are amazing. You are powerful. Speak those positivity. And if you can feel it, then you need to get your hands on one of these till you begin to feel it. And then you begin to embrace it and you begin to accept it. We need to speak this because this is an empowering tool. This is not another tool where it's just reactive or symptomatic. This is a tool of tapping into one of the greatest forces that we're all giving free reign to. But David has made it simple for us to create the environment that is conducive. So kudos to David and his team. But please, guys, I know the testimonies out there. Speak to your family. Speak to your friends. Get them on board. And then we're going to work on those logistical aspects because we want us as a community to thrive and succeed. And so making sure that everybody is happy with this technology. So Richard, again, I apologize for the distortion, the disconnect about the frequency. 
But I want this platform to be the place where you guys come in, let's open up and let's talk about the problems and let's see how we can do. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, I'd like to yes. chime in on what Jeff uh, had to say too. Yes. Um, uh, I thought you've done a really good job and I liked a lot of his comments, thought he was on point. And I also want the app too, because I was very disappointed when I bought my, my unit back in December originally, I plan on using it with my iPhone, and I was very disheartened to find out that that app wasn't available. So that would be a real plus. I think you need to get on with that. So yeah. there's a lot of us probably who use iPhones and would love to have that availability. I will push for that, Richard. I will push for David and find out those details yeah. again. When we meet again, I will be able to get you a specific answers to the reasoning behind that. Or I will bring David on himself to tell you guys. Because it was there once upon a time, and then it's gone. And then also... Maybe the developer can create an IO version where we can just download it directly to the Mac system. So David is well versed in uh, software development and stuff like that. So maybe he can speak to his team and see if that's a possibility. I don't know yet. I will only be able to convey that to David. But he's a tech, yeah, if he's a tech guy, he probably knows software people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows. He he does it himself as well. So let's 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 see as if the community is speaking of this. This is what we need. Then let's resonate with it. Let's get it done. Is there any other question? Linda and then Hi. is okay. How you doing, Linda? I'm doing good. This is wonderful. So I thank you for having these weekly. My question, I also put it in the questions, but I was wondering, can the Qi Energy AI be used at used at the same time as playing like singing bowls? I believe so. Energy, it's for me the complexity of energy is not something I can define in in a yes or no. I will say try it and then see how you resonate with it. Right? Because remember, so here's the key, Linda. You make energy do what it needs to do for you. You do that, right? So mm -hmm. if you bring two instruments and you say, I need this to work because I have an intention. If I put this together, it's gonna work, you will see it. It will work for you. That is the power of energy. That's the power of chi, right? The energy will be used in a way that aligns with you. So if you want to mix a match, mix a match and then come and tell us about it, right? I don't want anybody to assume anything and looking for somebody to give them a yes or no question. We're giving you the power. We're giving you access to, to a tool that gives you back your power, not give you the power. I'll take that back. Give you access back to your power. This is your this is your tool. This is your way of directing energy flow to you and to your environment. So mix and match, Linda, and then see how it works. I have done that as well, and I've seen results of it. And I've mixed some other things that I didn't see the, the result because I was impatient with it. So some might take longer than others, but that's all up to you. And I think as a community, we can do a lot of building with wisdom as it relates to how the energy technology is working in relation to other tools. So please try it out. Uh, I've used this frequency in microcurrent. Like for example, I have a microcurrent technology. You know, I've studied microcurrent. So I take my microcurrent technology and I plug it into the device and I run my, I run the, the frequency as a microcurrent on my body. You know, just make sure it's not high up. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I ran the frequency one time and it was really high and because I used the raw frequency and I woke up and the next morning, you know, this was, I didn't use the cheek core with this because the cheek core has a balance, and, but I used the raw rife and I had a hole in my hand. So I used the, the cheek coil to help me with the pain. So I felt no pain and then the hole closed within two weeks. So which was phenomenal. So for every action, it's an equal and opposite reaction. So I would say use the technology, but also be cautious and be careful to follow the instruction on how to properly use them. But please mix and match whatever works for you as an expert. I will. And I also have a question regarding the AI frequencies. Do they okay. affect people with pacemakers and implants in the same manner as the chi coil frequencies and rife? I have been around people. Uh, I have, well, I I'm can only give my testimony, right? This is not, cannot say scientifically because somebody is always going to come back and counter based on their assumptions and distortions, right? I can say I've had people in the room with the device running and with pacemaker and it has not affected them, right? And I've had them consistently in that environment. The AI as well, I've had people in the room, uh, I've 
have their phone connected and I have not seen any adverse effect. In fact, I've seen more positive than anything negative. Again, uh, I was, I, and I will say anything is possible. Somebody can come in there and in that environment and it has nothing to do with the technology. I believe the technology is safe as it's going to be. I think even lights can impact your health if, if you're resonating in the wrong way. But I just want to make sure that everybody is aware that, you know, be cautious when it comes to people. It's pacemaker. I, wouldn't, I, would, I definitely wouldn't do microcurrent and stick it on them. But however, with this device, it creates an easier delivery system. I haven't seen an issue. And then definitely with the AI, there shouldn't be no adverse effect with the AI uh, through the phone because the phone is already in the those frequencies, which is worse <laughs> than what the, mm -hmm. the, the the AI is going to be generating, right? That those five G is, is is terrible, but yet we lay next to it, we, in, we embrace it. But I would say to make you know to make things short, I would say just pay attention to it, be aware of it, and then see how it works for you, and then share share those testimonials from your expertise as I've had these people and then have had issues. But I always say keep the intensity around. You know, 85, don't, don't go to max. You know, max is 85, 75, and you really cautious because that is your intention, that's your belief system. Just tune it down to okay. about 40. Because I had someone who was very sensitive to energy and 35, like, whoa, it's like, what are you feeling? She's like, I feel it. I, like, I don't feel it, <laughs> right? So other people blast it up to 100, and I don't feel it. So everybody is different. Everybody has to walk those own, their own path. So please... You know, keep that into mind and then share your wisdom with us on how people feel when it comes to that. But uh, as far as us telling you directly, scientific aspect, you know, everything needs to be done with balance and caution. But for the most part, this is energy. Energy can be harnessed, right, to become destructive like an atom bomb, or energy can be constructive. It allows life to exist. It's how we choose to manipulate it in a constructive or destructive way. But this way, it's constructive. Great. Thank you. Anybody else? Can I quickly chime in? Yes, please. Yeah, so just relating to Jeff, what you mentioned to me about Catherine Ponder, because I have got one of her books, but I can't remember which one it was. I think it said Diamond Laws of Prosperity, something that I might be the one referring to. I have to look at it again. Oh, I actually, I, I mentioned, the book I mentioned that I had in time, maybe I said somebody else's name, was Florence Scovel Shin. Yeah, and... that's what I'm saying. I've got one of her books. Oh, okay. The, the Game yeah. of Light. She only wrote like, five books but the one she the first book was the game of life and how to play it okay. Catherine ponder as you you mentioned Catherine ponder Catherine ponder is another excellent author and any one of her books is really also yeah. great yeah, <laughs> so yeah i know i've got i've got one of her books i can't remember which one it is because somebody a friend of mine in the u.s actually recommended it to me yeah yeah they're all great they're all they're all they're all very good because okay. a lot of these authors will speak you know the whole idea of manifestation and changing your reality and all these sort of things, the, the principles are, are, are essentially the same, but they all approach them from a different perspective. And, and so while Catherine Ponder's perspective is different from Florence Goebel Shin's perspective, they're both great in terms of how they go about explaining it. So thank you. Thank you, Jeff, for sharing. And this is what this is all about. So right now, I know we're coming to an end. I appreciate all of you guys. We have extended our time a little bit longer than expected, but I love this, right? I love us coming together and sharing our wisdom with this technology. So let's reconvene next week. I appreciate all of you for co-creating with me and being here and allowing me to be inspired by all of you and Richard and all the rest of you that have some distortion regarding the technology. I apologize. We'll do our best to make sure we accommodate. So thank you guys. You guys be amazing. You guys be blessed and above all else, Love yourself and begin to peel away those judgments that keep that from you. All right, let's let's reconvene next week and let's come back with what tools we need to look at. I'll you know, frequency write down some of the problems and issues, and we can maybe start targeting like we did with Richard. What frequency we think would best serve you? Love you guys. You guys be amazing. You guys be blessed, and let's continue next week.